Hi everyone, we're nearly there. Uh, episode four day continues on this beautiful sunny day. Uh, there's two or three kits left to get through, so we better get indoors and let's do bonsai. So we're back inside yet again, um, and the next kit we have is the Thompson and Morgan uh, bonsai Acer Grow Kit. So this is a kit pretty much with Acers in. Uh, so it has um, <clears throat> some autumn colour mix and uh, Acer palmatums. Um, so they all came out of stratification and went into the um, tents upstairs and as you can see typical uh, Acer results from any bonsai kit we have none. Um, <clears throat> a little spray of water and a last ditch effort we will place that in the greenhouse and hope for a bit of growth. The same with the two little propagators that we did. Um, that's the Acer mix. There's uh, nothing come out of there so we'll put a little spray of water. I'll continue to water them whilst they're in the greenhouse. And we'll go with that. And this is the uh, Acer Palmatum. Again, no, no growth. So we'll give them a little spray and we'll get them into the greenhouse. Uh, hopefully the greenhouse will stimulate some growth. Uh, but if not, we'll just clear it away and, and get rid of those. Again, the seeds, you know, we don't know how long they've been in this box. We don't know how long they took to get to us. You get some fresh Acer seeds or uh, maple seeds and they pop up. They spring straight up. I had some that um, that we found, you know, on the floor as we were out walking the dogs and things. And, you know, we, we planted some and they've sprung straight up. So... You know, these kits, it can only be that they're inside these these um, metal type of uh, metallic wraps and they're just drying out in there. Um, obviously, you give them a good soak beforehand to try and bring them to something, but uh, yeah, they're uh, not doing too well. But what I'll probably do, same as with the other uh, kits that we've got, any leftover seeds, I'm going to soak them, stratify them, you know, do all the bits, I'll make some videos for them and then I'm not going to bore you all with the, you know, this step-by-step -step process. If it does anything, you'll see a video on it. If it doesn't do anything, I won't even bother publishing it. Um, but we do have the instruction booklet in here for the uh, Thompson & Morgan kit. So I will make copies of those and put them at the end for anybody, again, once again, that uh, hasn't got their instruction booklet because there's plenty of people that uh, have misplaced them. So that's the Thompson and Morgan kit. It was a fair kit. It was a good, you know, it, everything about it was pretty much okay and standard, but unfortunately we just didn't get any growth. So uh, we'll get these into the greenhouse and move on to the next kit and we'll do that now. So here we are with the next kit which is the Urban Sprout Growing Made Simple seed starter pack now out of this one we just got so many of the pines or you know the pine type trees that just grew and went really really well some of them are beginning to struggle so I'm desperate to get them now into the greenhouse uh, because obviously they've not I don't think they fully like their time up in the um, up in the tent um, so I'm going to let them sit in the greenhouse and hopefully you know they'll they'll grow back through uh, but we've got some larches here, I believe that's a larch. Yep, uh, is that a Scots pine? Yep, Scots, Scots pine. And then we've got a lot of, um, that's another Scots pine. We do have a lot of uh, Norway spruce. So I think there's more Norway spruce than there is Scots pine. And then there's a couple of larches that are uh, that are in, in here. So that's a Norway spruce. But some of these are browning off on the ends and they, they have been growing nicely and really well. So we've got some nice fresh growth in the larch one there. And we've got a little bit of nice fresh growth coming out of these Scots pines. So there's, there's fresh green growth coming out of most of these. So into the greenhouse and hopefully they uh, you know keep, keep growing and growing strong. 
Um, but I think for productivity, the Urban Sprout kit has been the most successful. Uh, although we um, we only got the the pine type uh, trees that popped up, um, but then the only other one that they had was uh, red maples, which I believe are in these bags over here, which they've been sat in stratification, came out and went into the grow tent and you know the typical result from a maple or an acer in these kits we don't get any results at all which is a shame uh, but we we will continue to try it does look as if uh, there was the beginning of a little seedling that tried to come through in this one so you know we will put them into the greenhouse to see if they get any uh, growth through going into the greenhouse but um, just hoping that the pines pick back up again and go well uh, out there in the greenhouse. Um, in the box for the Urban Sprout we've still got some uh, seed packs, we have some little pruning scissors, uh, some little leaf pruners and then we do have a bonsai tree kit uh, instruction guide. Once again I'll take copies of this and put it at the end of the video so that anybody who happens to have the Urban Sprout kit and has misplaced their instructions they'll be at the end of this video. But this kit has been really really good, it's been really productive, it's kicked out a lot of um, a lot of trees, a lot of seedlings and uh, if we can get them into, into the greenhouse and hope for you know some continued growth that will be a good thing. So we'll get them into the greenhouse and then I think we have one more kit to look at which is the Bonsai Beauties kit and we'll look at that now. So this one is the Bonsai Beauties uh, Bonsai kit. Um, I believe this is the last one of all the kits that we had. Um, I can only find this one little pine that we've got so uh, it must be that we've only got one that's come out of it. I thought we had some more um, but uh, they seem to be absent. Now inside this kit box we've just got some identity sticks and some instructions so we must have raided this box if it came with anything. Um, no it just came with soil and a propagator and a few other little bits. So we should have had juniper, larch, pine, Chinese red bud and a sweet gum liquid umbar formosa in that kit. Uh, and this is, this is what we have and you know that's it. It's, um, I think it's the Pinus halepensis. I can't think that it would be anything else. Um, so we will get that into the greenhouse and uh, it's labelled up as Bonsai Beauties on the pot and I seem to remember doing that to more than one so the only thing I can imagine is that uh, it's colleagues that were uh, with it have uh, withered and died and we've just removed the pot and, and got rid of it. Um, it looks strong, it looks okay, it looks nice and green so uh, a spell in the greenhouse should serve it well. So we'll put the instructions at the end of the video for the Bonsai Beauties kit. Um, but I think there's not a lot to say. There's one pine and that's it. So for all these episode fours and for the kits that we've just looked at, the um, Urban Sprout kit, the Thompson and Morgan kit, and this Bonsai Beauties kit from Solush.com, uh, I've been Scott Winard, this is Let's Do Bonsai, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.